Soon may the caiman come with birds and mice and some tasty nums. One day when the craters come, we'll eat till our bellies are full. While Jelly got his boys and they gathered round, they scattered seeds from a sack they found. In How the hell are you? All right. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Hey, ladies. Yeah. What's cooler than being cool? Ice cold. All right, all right, all right. <clears throat> all right. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see here. Work on this a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. You see that? So, what we are gonna do, what we are gonna do is refine this a little bit more so that it has a little more flair. It doesn't have enough flair. I was kind of, at first, right, I was getting kind of my positioning and and I was looking for feedback. I thought I was gonna get some feedback maybe from the instructor of the class, no go. Uh, I thought I was gonna get some feedback from the peer group that was it was about, and, and while they were nice, I, I didn't really get uh, any um, constructive criticism, and if I did, it wasn't from a professional artist. It's from one of the other people who are taking an art class, and again, no disrespect to them, but I would like to have a professional tell me, hey, do this and it would make it look way better or work on you, you know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> so that is really the only negative thing I could say about the class so far. Um, I have enjoyed the, the, the instruction that I have gotten in the, the pre-recorded videos were, were good instruction. I did learn some stuff from them, um, but 80% of it is all stuff you could find in an art book. You know what I mean? In, a, in an art class book or just a beginner's art class thing. So I'm not highly impressed yet. That being said, it's also not completely over. Uh, but I am all about being real and honest. And I wouldn't want someone to go out and spend their money before knowing the full experience. Um, that wouldn't be... I would. I would be upset. If they were like, this is awesome and they didn't share anything like that they were really feeling about well this could have been done better or i want i want to i'm about keeping it real but ah uh, there he is hey chef And then you got to come in and go, hello, children. How you doing? And I go, bye, bad. And you go, why bad, children? Because there's kitties that need rescuing. Did you go adopt those two cats? Did you go adopt those two cats? Good afternoon, children. <sighs> Need the light to like be down here. I need the light to be over here. Oh, I fixed it. Yeah, that's hard. That is hard.
hear that, brother. There's a few cats at the shelter that have been there for way too long. They're way too loving, way too sweet, and I want to bring them home every time, but <clears throat> can't afford it. Can't afford it. All right, so what we're going to do right now, guys, is I took away the meow. I had meow written here. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. And we were at the... Um, they had a little bit of it. It was a volunteer. I thought it was a meet and greet. It was more of a volunteer thank you. And they had a live guitarist um, and some refreshments and stuff. And had a little presentation at the near the end about what they were doing uh, in the future and a vision and stuff. But in the process, in their presentation, they talked about the cat mafia. And so something about that just kind of stuck out to me. Don't feel bad, man. You can't. We can't save them all. I, I understand feeling bad. You can't. You know, it's better to not split them up and hope that somebody will adopt all of them. Um, And in their presentation last night, they talked about the help. The the cat mafia is is how they referred to it. And so I literally leaned over to my wife and was like, I think I should take out the meow in that drawing and add mafia. So... That is what we are doing. Live and direct. Well, good call. Thank you for pointing out. I'm not quite with it today. Um, that technically would be my game. This is why you're this is why you're one of my moderators. <laughs> Can we just extend the kitty cam? Nobody needs to see my head, so then I can actually just what can I do with my monster's head? What can I can do with my this head. Get rid of this head. Slide this over. Nobody wants to see me. There. There we go. Thanks, buddy. Way less black area. One of these days I'll have a chat box or something up in the top right. All right. So. Thank you for correcting my amateur mistake. Your line is crooked. Yeah, I should. I just got the OBS and all that stuff working. That'll be the next step. I need one for my podcast, one for the art, one for the... But I just... I don't... I'm not good at all that stuff and haven't had all the time. Boss Gaming Potato Aim James, the gaming pastry chef. How you guys all doing? G. Lou is in the house. Welcome back, everybody. I appreciate all your guys' support. I hope you guys are all having a great day. I know your line is always crooked.
don't know why, but I wanted that to jet out like for some reason. Bro. Show you crooked line. Absolutely, brother. I'm trying, dude. I'm trying, man. We will be uh, transferring this to, I got the wood panel uh, prepped. Uh, primed basically it's a material called gesso uh, so it's been gessoed I'm gonna be taking the transfer paper I'm just doing the last couple of uh, finishing touches I didn't like the meow I wanted to switch it up and during uh, during one of their presentations last night they had a really cool uh, term called the cat mafia so the name is help with cats so we're gonna put help with cats mafia I think that uh, think that'll be a nice touch. I don't know. I thought it was cute. But, you know, my judgment's always fucked up, right? I mean, look at my friend. I, I have never done any of that yet. No, this will be the first time. So literally, um, as soon as I get done, I'm going to put a mafia. I'm going to get the A in here. I might work on my uh, my name inside of the paw a little bit, work on the paw lines a little. And then I want to straighten out a couple of the lines across the eye up here. I want to space these out a little bit differently. Uh, and then I will be ready to transfer. So if you guys stick around, uh, long enough in the stream, you will see this live. Um, but no, I've never done any of the wood wood burning or anything. Uh, maybe in the future, I'd give it a dabble if I could find the equipment for cheap and, and you know, found an interest in it. Yeah. There's a lot of people doing it on TikTok. I see, like, a lot of people. Um, busting that out. I don't know why, but for some reason I have this urge to do a lowercase a. I don't, I don't think it'll work. I hope you are all having a great day. Appreciate all of the reactions, guys. Thanks to everyone for stopping. When I am done with this piece, uh, and it's uh, we're on day, I believe, 12. Let me double check. I can literally tell you the exact day of the project. It's a 30-day project, and um, we're on day, like, 12. Uh, Okay, one through ten. So this is days eleven through twenty three, this stage here. So we are in, I think, day twelve of the twenty. Hey, thank you, Spencer. How you doing? Appreciate you stopping in. <clears throat> We're working on it, man. We're trying, brother. We're trying. How are you doing today? I 
don't know why I like when that that eye crooked. Yeah, I think I want to change. I didn't space any of my lines out very well. This side's lacking, so that's serious. So I'm not gonna lie, normally when I show things off, I've done this 50,000 times, either digitally or even on a sketch. I've, I've, I've been able to refine it a bunch before I show it, so. This is a little uh, humbling for me to do these live and, and show you my mistakes, my flaws, of which I have many, of which I have many. Yeah. Um, playing some Cold Wars are nice. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm transferring this to wood, and then we'll start the painting process. Um, and I played with the colors. I took a picture of this and then my procreate on my iPad, I started playing with some of the colors. I wasn't happy with what I did. So that's a good thing. I kind of got to play with what I was, I was, and wasn't liking. Um, these colors up here are kind of, kind of be set. This is, um, technically representing the Arizona flag. So, and that's a, that's a pretty solid red and yellow across the top. So rising sun, Phoenix out of the ashes, saving animals, right? All of that. Um, so it is a graffiti kitty for the barn house, spraying up a help with cats mafia on the wall, right? And I, I don't know what this little kitty's doing over here. He's just kind of hanging out being weird. <laughs> he's just he's just hanging out and being weird. I don't know what we'll call him yet. Everybody's gonna get a name. I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure. Um, oh, you know what? One solid detail mission here. He would have a tipped left ear if he had been trapped and fixed. So they tip if you see an animal with just the left ear tipped, a lot of the time it's to represent that it's been caught and fixed so they don't waste resources and times trapping an, an animal that's already been uh, spayed or neutered. Uh, when I started getting into rescuing cats off the street in my old, in my 20s, um, I thought one was injured. I thought somebody had been mean to one. And somebody's like, no, no, no. Actually, my buddy Jordan, who's very supportive of our page here, and... Um, He's like, no, they, they do that when they catch them. I was like, ah, oh, I, I did not know that. So shout out to Jordan for letting my ignorant butt know. All right. So I was getting a little crazy with my angles on one side versus the other. And as a result, I didn't get the best, I didn't get the best lines. Spacing was off. Spacing was way off. A little bit more in these two. A little bit more in these two. There we go. I think that's that's a little more balance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's thirteen. Ooh. Hey, you like it? You like it? Elu, my precious. Tell Snick 
I, I uh, tell Snick that I love him. And the only reason that I'm not in his stream is because I'm drawing for the kitties. I love that, buddy. Right now, with the setup the way it is, it's better for me to have my phone right here, making sure I don't miss any chat. Um... Got to get this done for the kitties. I think, I think I want to mess. I don't think I, I don't like the spacing. I don't like the spacing on this. Hey, Delshawn, how are you doing, man? Appreciate you. <clears throat> what is going on? I hope you are well. Everybody is well. Having a beautiful, beautiful day. It's funny. Art is very, very soothing. Very, very soothing. Put in too many details, it'll get lost in the paint anyway. All right. He's got his tipped ear showing that he has been fixed. All right. He's got his barn house. He's got his barn house jacket on. He's repping the crew. They're nothing but love there, so it's in the shape of a heart, their logo. I made it that way. Their logo is not actually in the shape of a heart, although it could be. And one could argue, should we? I really need to find a different eraser. I don't like the erasers that I have. One's like a ball up smushy one that everyone seems to love. And I literally like that causes almost a rage in me. This one is a, a close second in causing some rage because it's just, it's too big and fat. And so I need to find myself like a very thin, precise little eraser. I also just need to get a little better with doing lighter lines until I'm I'm at my finishing stage and that's something that I'll get better at as I get older as an artist, you know, as I as I develop my style more um, I'll improve on my lines. So A, they'll be better and more precise out of the gate to less correcting. I'll do them lighter in the beginning as I'm getting all of my spacing and stuff so when I do erase them it's it's way less visible. Um I'm working on improving all of these things. Um, I am very much not a confident artist. Um, it's something that I'm very, very new to in the sense of trying to do this um, for a living, trying to do this uh, on, a, on a bigger scale. Shout out to my sponsor who paid for this art class and all of the, all the materials that I'm using, minus the desk. I had I had pencils and erasers, but bought the paper and the and the uh, paints and stuff and the and the wood that I'll be transferring this to. And I think I think I'm very very close to being ready to transfer this. Um, I think I think I would like to work on this paw just a hair more, but I really need to go to the restroom. 
And uh, so what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to take a quick five minute break. I'm going to go grab a drink, run to the restroom, and I will be right back. Uh, and we will finish this and we're going to I'm going to work on this hand just a teeny bit. And then we're going to transfer this over to the wood panel. If you guys want to stick around to learn about that process, I will also be uploading this video to YouTube when I am done so that if anybody wants to watch the transfer process later, it's really, really cool. Um, and all the materials there behind me on the desk. So we will be uh, breaking those out here. Um, but if you guys want to stick around, you want to come back. And again, we'll, we'll be uploaded to YouTube as well. Appreciate all of the love and support. We will be right back. I love ya. There once was a cat with a hungry belly. The name of the cat was Whiskers Jelly. His throat was dry and his bow was bare. Meow, me furry cats meow. Soon may the caveman come with birds and mice and some tasty nums. One day when the craters come, we'll eat till our bellies are full. While Jelly got his boys and they gathered round, they scattered seeds from a sack they found. In How is everybody doing? All right, all right, all right. Appreciate everybody, everybody sticking around, hanging out, stopping in. What can I do for this kitty paw a little bit? I just, I really don't like. Maybe if I... Maybe I can make them a little bigger. What is everybody up to today? I think... No, I think I'm just, I think I'm stressing on stuff that's just not worth stressing on, guys. At the end of the day, the whole process also is about having fun, not worrying about being perfect. I am spending, I think, sometimes way too much time worrying about being perfect.
Oh yeah, yeah. So our I'm gonna take a wild guess. Sleep like this. Tell me I'm wrong. Want to know how I know? <laughs> I'm old, man. And you can't do shit like that anymore, chef. So um, I can break it down for you from a, an actual medical reason, uh, from a science standpoint of why it happens, if you'd like. Okay, so you got to stop. Got to stop. I know it's hard. I've had to break a lot of sleep cycles. Snick Mortar 84. I've had a lot of breaks. So what happens is when you put your muscle, your arms up like this, your arms are in a state of ready, They're ready to work. You basically hyperextend your muscles. They're in a constant state of ready. They're in a constant state of ready. They're in a constant state of ready. But then you don't ever do anything with them. So they're stretched out, ready to do something. And then you don't do anything with them all night long. And what happens? The next day. And you might have been able to get away with that shit in your 20s. It would just happen every once in a while. You'd be like, ah, my neck. Ah, my. And you'd wake up going, I must have slept wrong. Yeah, you have slept wrong for 30 fucking years, apparently. <laughs> I had to break sleeping on my stomach. I would sleep on my stomach. And that would make all my back and neck problems even worse. It'd be all crooked. I don't know. Snick Mortar 84, the gaming pastry chef. Delshawn, lights out, KP, Potato Aim James. How are all you legends doing? G Lou is in the house. How are you doing? Lemon, I was gaming with some lemon earlier. Man, the games were horrible. He was he was not vibing on the games. I felt like I was dragging the team down. <laughs> uh so I got off early. He even got off early. The, the, the games were just not vibing there today. All right. How is everybody out there doing today? So I am about to start processing the wood. We're going to start transferring this to the wood panel here in just a few. I will be uploading this episode to my YouTube, my Cats of Duty YouTube page. Um, so if anybody missed this and they want to catch the process later on how this is transferred over to the wood panel, if they want to do something like this in the future themselves, I highly recommend. I don't care if you think you're good or not. Everybody is exactly where they are and what they should be. Draw, have fun, be creative. Don't worry so much about how it looks. We get way too caught up in the how it looks. Uh, no, you got to move. I understand. I understand a certain level of moving around the cats, this and that. But at the end of the day, they're fucking cats. What do they do all day? They fucking sleep. I'm just going to say it. Don't be an asshole. Move that fucking cat and sleep the way you need to sleep, King. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I think Potato. I think Potato might be your dude if he's not playing hockey. I know Snick's playing right now with uh, bees. If they get a spot to open up, maybe they'll pick you up. Um, I can tell you that I would not be your good your good training partner tonight. The face they give you. Don't be such a wuss. It's hard, isn't it? I always I always joked around. I said, "You think you're a hard ass?" I just joke, "What a hard ass I am!" Till I became dad. Cat, dad, and dad. Those are two things that definitely changed me. Definitely changed me. I mean, we do this for the, this. I'm, the piece I'm working for right now is to auction off when I'm done for cats. And I'm saying, F those little assholes. <laughs> we love them, but they can be little a-holes. And they sleep like 80% of their, they sleep like 18 hours a day. All right, guys, I think we are ready. 
Y'all ready for the transfer? All right, so I think we're gonna move the camera a little because I don't need to be so up, up on it. Is that as high as it goes? Better. Okay. Get rid of all the eraser. I'm not going to need the sketchbook anymore. At least for now, I don't believe. Move all that over. Okay. Take my headphones off. Be right back. One sec. So, got some of this. Okay. So, all right. And we got our board. Okay. So, put this out a little bit here. So, transfer paper. I have never worked with this stuff before, but we did the old school, like, remember the triplicate? You get the pink one, we get the yellow one. So, I've worked with that kind of paper before. So, I realize it comes in all these big sheets. Okay. I didn't realize, I thought it was going to be one big roll like a saran wrap and I was going to have to cut it. All right, so, this is technically a really big ass. I don't need this big ass piece, so we're definitely going to cut this. Turn this sideways. So I want it long enough to be able to tape it around the sides. And the thing about these also, guys, is they're reusable. You can reuse this many times over. So don't throw this away when you're done with the project, especially if you are a professional artist, a budding artist. You need to save as much money as you can on your materials and reuse as much as you can. Budget, budget, budget. Budget, budget, budget. You want to know how all successful artists and musicians made it? They starved. <laughs> Slide that other little one inside of there. Tuck it away. Okay. So the one thing you want to make sure when you do this, big, 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 big key factor. There's two sides. There's a dark side. If you can see it. There's a light. It's a little hard to see in this light. Darker side, lighter side. You want to make sure that you put the darker side facing down. Right? So that you don't spend all this time tracing it and then it doesn't actually stick. So save yourself a little bit of time. Tape one end first so that when you get it lined up where you want it, Put a little piece of plumber's you know, painter's tape, and we're gonna get the other end. Pull it tight. You're making sure you tight tape it on all ends, because if this moves on you at all. You're going to have a bunch of squiggly lines instead of a bunch of straight lines that you can trace on. And we 
We don't want that. Put a couple more on the other end here. Making sure this isn't going to move while we're doing our transfer trace so that our lines are super, super clean. Okay? That is the process. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the show. Cats of Duty art class. Now, now what you want to do is place the tape if you can. Place, uh, place the tape, if you can, where there are no pencil marks. And then that way you have less to um, line fix later. Okay. Do yourself a favor. Tear a few pieces of these off before you do this. You want to have them on the edge so that you have a few. That would be helpful. That when you're getting this all lined up, you're not moving it. Okay, so I'm making sure that my edges are still squared off. I'm trying not to push down too much so I don't get any of the carbon pushed off on the wood where I don't want it to be. Okay. So. I think getting close Now, basically, you go and you retrace your design. And it transfers to the board. And so that is what we will now proceed to do. Bring this back over. That down some. What do you think? If I go edges tracing, if I could go up here, touch that view. While I do it here, I think this could work. I think this could work, huh? Can we make that happen? Oh, if my pen showed me ink, I don't know. 
you want to make sure that you're pressing nice and firm. You have to go through the pressure of the paper and the carbon paper to get it to apply onto the wood, right? So you got to make sure that you apply a decent amount of pressure. Who would have known that the free promo pen they sent me for my Cast of Duty order on Vistaprint would be not the best quality? Anyone? Anyone? How the heck is everybody? Happy Friday. All right, we got a kitty. Doing okay so far. Right on, Jeff. You know what? Turn it up. No? Jam out? Maybe this one. So, um, the, are you referring, when you say these things, are you referring to the, the drawing or the, the process of transferring it to the wooden stuff? Um, the drawing I've just done. I've never actually taken until this online art class. I've never taken an art class besides like curriculum in middle school or mid high school. Um, but this process I'm learning because of the art class. Um, so somebody that donates to the barn house wanted to remain anonymous, but they sponsored me. They paid for this online art class to basically help me improve my skills. And when we were done with the project, the project would be auctioned off for animal rescue, right? Um, and so this particular process of transferring it to the wood, uh, I learned in this art class. So obviously I can't stream the part of the class where I watch my instructional video and that would be plagiarism of work, but I can share with you the process of what I did. Um, so that you can learn, right? I'm gonna get a copyright strike. Walking on sunshine.
All right, if this page gets banned, walking on sunshine. If this page gets banned, it's your fault. You have to help me get all my followers back. That'll be have to be your life's mission. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah, oh, all right, everybody. Can I get in here a little more? I'm worried about like leaning on it. I'm like, is leaning on it gonna mess it up? All right, man. I appreciate you, buddy. You take it easy, chef. The gaming pastry chef, everybody. The man, the myth, the chef. It's way nicer than Ramsey. <sighs> Excuse me. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Thanks for letting me know you're here, too. I was just sitting here going, man, should I go to Twitch so I can play music? I don't think, I don't think I'm entertaining enough to retain an audience without music. With just my drawings. I guess we're going to find out, aren't we? Technically, I've shared the process. What I should do is do a teaser where I start to peel off the, the, the paper so you can see what the board looks like, but then you have to go to Twitch or uh, TikTok to see the finished product. That's what I should do. That's how I get my thousand followers, huh? Had you never heard that song before? Yeah, that's a great, when you want to get the kids out of bed, you're not feeling great. That's a good, that's a good hype energy song. It's, you know, it's good for the kids. Love that song. That's why I have it on my samples. It's, it's there for the, when the vibes are down, we need to get them back up. For when the vibes are down and we need to get them back up. So guys, this is the charity art piece. When we are done with this piece, a piece of wood behind it, I'm 
getting the carbon print to so that I can start the, the, the painting behind it. Um, and when we're done, we will be auctioning this off for animal charity. So this will be going to the barn house and help with cats. They are the help with cats mafia. So let's see, what should we work on next? Uh, I guess we'll just get the street done or sidewalk sidewalk done so i hope everyone's doing well today appreciate you i want to keep them nice and straight if i can you gotta make sure you press through you gotta make sure you press pretty pretty solidly because you got to get through the paper and the carbon and get the carbon to imprint on the wood behind it so i am giving a good firm amount of pressure when I do this. Um, and this cheap pen's not liking it a whole lot. We don't care. We're breaking it. We're breaking it for the kitty art. Oh, the kitties. Oh, the kitties. We do it. Oh, the kitties. So what I need to do is make sure I hold this straight and solid so it doesn't move on me. All the way to the kitty paw. Kitty paw. Okay. Let's go through the kitty paw. I want to be kitty paw here. Okay. Not too shabby. And then when I'm when I get the paint, when I get to the paint section, I'll, I'm gonna add in some cracks and stuff. But if I put in too much detail into the sketch side of it, it wasn't going to show up. So I figured what is the point in adding a ton of detail in the sketch side if it's not going to show up anyway, right? So I will work on some more fine detail and the fine line brushing on the final result. Okay, sidewalk done. All right, so we got the Help with Cats Mafia and the Kitty logo. Check, check. I think we go to, we think, the Kitty Kitty. So we do the Kitty next. That Kitty. Uh, you know what? I'll knock out the paw. I'm going to knock out this paw real quick. We are in the second stage of the art project. This is a 30 day project. So we're in the 11 to 20 something day section. Um, this pen is like died. I may have to go and get I hope everyone's having a good day. I appreciate you. Happy Friday. If you are having a bad day, I care. Somebody cares way more than you realize. If you need to reach out, my inbox is always open to you. Whether you reach out to my Cats of Duty page, my personal page, I will answer as soon as I can. We can all need someone to talk to sometimes, and there is no shame in that. The only shame is suffering alone. Don't suffer alone. This cheap pen's failing me, but we're going to keep pushing through. We're not going to let this cheap, free Vista Print Cats of Duty pen fail us. We are doing this 
out of a symbolic reason, we're doing it with the free Cats of Duty LLC ballpoint shit pen. <laughs> now on principle alone, now on principle alone, I have to finish it with this shit pen. I don't know why, but I do. Happy Friday, happy Friday, happy Friday to you. Happy Friday, happy Friday, happy Friday to you. Alright, we got a kitty. We got a kitty. We got a kitty kitty. How much junk in the trunk does this cat have, huh? Whoa. Does his milkshake bring all the kitties to the yard? Damn right. It's better than yours. Damn right. It's better than yours. The gray man? I have not. What's that about? I'm not going to put the Nike symbols in there until later, if at all, honestly, I don't know if I want to put any shoe company label in there. I, mean, I ain't getting no money. Kitties ain't getting no money for it, so maybe I shouldn't endorse them, right? You didn't put in on this, man.
boy. This allows me to get really good pressure and still make sure my lines are straight. I want to make sure these rays, not everything needs to be perfect, but some stuff you want to have a perfect straight line on it if you can. One thing I do want to let everyone know, one art rule is there are no straight lines in nature. There are only straight lines in architectural and artificially made engineered items no straight lines in nature so don't get caught up unless you're doing something incredibly mechanical don't get caught up in having the perfect straight lines don't get caught up and have fun enjoy the process enjoy the process I'm just going to draw a line like this to represent the, the pupil of the cat's eye, but leave it because all the shading inside doesn't really matter in that sense. I just need the bordering so I can work on the painting. I believe we are ready to show off what this looks like. Let's move this back over here. Go up high again so we get a little bit better of an angle. Peel this off nicely. And remember, you can reuse this. So there's no reason to throw stuff away, right? So you literally can reuse these carbon papers, uh, from my understanding, quite a few times. I'm going to do my best to, to save it. The, the good reveal did he screw it up was all of this work for nothing dun 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 nowhere near as clean as his <laughs> quite sure what all that came from but we'll, we'll be painting over that in the end it doesn't matter in the end it doesn't really matter it's pretty cool that's what it looks like you get a little reverse paper I'll try to take a picture of that and make a cool TikTok or something um, so this is now transferred onto the board so got a little carbon rub off there um, Mine doesn't look nearly as clean as his does. His didn't have this carbon rub on it. So maybe, and that's, I were, as I stated while doing it, I was a little worried about that I was leaning on it too much. So maybe that's from me applying too much hand pressure uh, while doing this. So if you go to do this, be careful. Uh, it also could be because I didn't do enough primer, um, the, the stuff called gesso. Uh, so in the, ne the next time I do this, I'll also apply a little bit more gesso on the background uh, and see if that, if that helps as well. But um, again, I'm not going to get upset or, or, or pissed off about at myself. This is about the process. 
not perfection. We're going to have fun. We're going to enjoy this. It looks like I forgot one line here on the on the foot. I cut off the pants and the shoe line. Looks like I forgot one line on the ear there. But all of that will be uh, a-okay. I can, we can draw these. Draw those in there by hand. All right, there we go. So that is the wood panel. We will be painting and finishing off for charity. So we are on the second stage. Day 11 through 20 something. So now I got to work on my color palettes. The, the next few days, I guess we're going to be like mixing paints, learning how to mix paints, stuff like that. This stuff I've never, ever done before. Anytime I've ever done anything with color at all, I've always used a marker, a pen, something, a pen, you know, a colored pencil, a spray can, something that's already mixed, taken care of for me. So I have never really used, um, besides house painting and shit like that, I've not done really any painting on a canvas, on a board. On a, so this is all really going to be a new experience for me. Um, very much looking forward to getting onto that stage of the project. But here we go. Here we go, cats. Cats of duty. What do you think? What do you think, y'all? I will have this uploaded to my YouTube page, Cats of Duty, so anybody who wants to watch it later can. I have the other previous art classes um, in a playlist called Art Class or Art. Um, appreciate everybody. Please go subscribe to our TikTok. Please go subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, we will load these up so that you can check them out later. Do I see? Do I see that? Oh, Vinny! <laughs> G. Lou, thank you, man. Thank you, sir. Gee, Vinny, I love you, man. How you doing? How you doing, Vin? Vin dog. I got to geek out on my man Vinny for a sec, G. -Lo. I haven't seen him in a minute. Vinny. Vinny. We love you. I was about to end my stream and say, go. I'm going to go check out. I miss you. When are we going to hang out? Even if it's just a chit chat. I miss you, brother. I'm going to be playing some power washer later, I think. A good cat nap, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Call of Duty's been wearing me out. It's been bumming me out. Not... Be back soon on PC. All right. Anytime you want to talk, I'm always here. I miss you, dude. I miss your energy. I miss your face. I miss your voice. This is the second stage of the 30-day art project. Absolutely, dude. And when we are done with this, we are uh, auctioning it off for animal welfare. The money will go to the barn house and help with cats. And uh, this is the, the help with cats mafia wood panel ready for painting. Well, actually, I got, I got to seal it. So the next stage is I seal it. But he's got he's going to teach like some colors. Some color mixture kind of a thing and uh we're gonna do that stage but this is the this is the wood panel stage we just got done transferring it took the sketch put it on the carbon paper and uh, and transferred it over so i'm actually gonna leave that on. i'm gonna take a picture of that i think that kind of looks the reverse carbon paper thing looks kind of cool uh, so i'm gonna take some pictures of that and try to upload some social media to the ticker talks try to get some follows over there on the TikToks. we only need like 640 more and we can go live over there play some music be weird i think speaking of going live with music and being weird i think i will stream later today guys on twitch so that i can play music talk some more crap um facebook's algorithm's broken uh, i get very other than my closest closest friends and supporters uh, i get no love over here so if i'm only gonna have four viewers I might as well jam out to some music while I have four viewers, right? <laughs> and I can't do that on Facebook. Facebook also doesn't pay me money they owe me. So, you know, there's that. I feel like I shouldn't grace them with my presence. <laughs> pay me my money, Facebook. Pay me my money, Facebook. How about that? Love you guys. I appreciate you.
Everybody, support your local streamer. They need it. Support your local business. They need it. Appreciate all of you. Thank you, everybody, for the support. This is going to be auctioned off for the Barnhouse AZ and help with cats. Yeah, music. I don't know if I have another stream in me right now, Gila. It's warm. You want me to switch to Twitch? Play some Power Washer? Jam out some music? I can't, I can't play that much here. I'm only allowed to play little clips. Last night a DJ saved my life. Last night a DJ saved my life. Yeah, yeah. Cause I was sitting there bored to death. In just one way, he said, You gotta get up, you gotta get off, you gotta get down, girl. I actually have this on vinyl. What's funny is I bought it from someone in the UK. I had it shipped over here from the UK. And when I got it, it had a record, it had a sticker for a local record shop from the town I was in. So somehow a record made it from San Diego all the way to the UK. And then I bought it from that dude in the UK and had it shipped all the way back to San Diego really funny really really funny but all right guys i'm gonna take a real quick break and then if i do come back i think i'm gonna come back on twitch just because yeah if i'm only gonna have a couple of y'all here let's go listen to some music and chill out right buy about some music maybe i'll play a bird skate they got this this game guys where i can skateboard as a bird i might have to check that out i don't know what do you think might have to skateboard as a bird. Tweety Bird wants to skate, y'all. Tweety Bird wants to skate. But all right, guys. I am gonna take a real quick break and then I will will come back. I appreciate all your love. Skate it is. <laughs> 